Hi, I'm Henry Zumbra and I'm here to introduce the Automated Force Calibration System. We are very excited about this system because it can be used with any Morehouse existing machine from the 50s through today. Or it can be bought with as a complete system with any of our machines as well. So this upgrade has been years in the making. Our engineer James Mull is going to introduce some features of the machine, answer some tough questions. And I just want to say how proud I am of our whole team, what they've accomplished in this end product. It truly is a remarkable product that can save companies countless hours of time, make technicians' lives a lot easier in the fact that they do not have to worry about collecting the data. They set up the instrument, program their low points, run the machine, and they can have the utmost confidence in the results because this automated machine can capture readings better than I can. And I've been doing this for 20 some years. The repeatability is better, reproducibility is better, consistency all around is better. So hope you enjoy this video. Hi, I'm James from Morehouse. I'm here to demonstrate our automated force calibration system. I've got it hooked up to a 30,000 pound uh, Morehouse UCM. Um, we've got a 10,000 pound cell in tension and a Morehouse 30,000 pound reference cell. Who are really looking forward to seeing this in action today? Was the unit hard to set up? Pretty easy, just wheel it out of the box, hook it up to a standard 120 volt outlet, um, hook the hydraulics up to the UCM machine, and then after a little bit of setup in the software, you're good to go. OSHA requires hearing protection for noise levels above 80 to 85 decibels. How does the Morehouse system compare with those guidelines? Yeah, so that's a common complaint that we've heard from our customers uh, about other automated systems, is that they're quite loud. We've designed ours to be pretty quiet. It generates about 65, a maximum of about 65 decibels measured, from, measured at six inches from the front of the machine. 20 decibels below OSHA's requirement of 85 decibels for hearing protection. Can we purchase this to upgrade our existing Morehouse machine or do we need to purchase a new one? Uh, no, this can be, so this can be purchased with a new Morehouse machine or it can be uh, integrated with an existing Morehouse UCM or scale press calibrator. Uh, so if you already have a machine, that can save you money and that you don't need to buy a whole new UCM, you can just buy the automation. How does this machine compare to doing it manually? So I don't know if you ever try to control one of these machines manually, but it can be you know, tough to hold a point within a really tight tolerance. Uh, the automated system can hold a tighter tolerance than a person can generally do. Um, so you get better repeatability and then even, you know, you get some variability between technicians. Um, this is going to do it the same every time so you get better reproducibility um, between cows. Would it make our measurements more consistent and precise? Uh, yes. So, like I mentioned, the automated system can hold a load better than a human can generally do. Um, so, you can configure how close you want it to hold the load when it takes a point. By default, that's 0.002% of full scale. But that can be you know, dialed in even tighter if you want to. And then you can also set how long you want it to hold that load before it takes a reading. So, you know, if you want it to hold it for 30 seconds or 45 seconds, you can set that in the software. How does the Morehouse automated machine eliminate data entry errors and streamline the process? If you're capturing readings from a Morehouse indicator, the system can get those readings automatically and, you know, within milliseconds of each other and average readings, uh, which is all configurable in the software. And, you know, you don't have to type anything in or write anything down, and so it eliminates all the typos. And then we're also continually adding new indicators to the library that this can read from. So if you need an indicator that's not a Morehouse indicator, we can talk about adding that. What if we need to use different meters? So we're always building uh, more meters into our library of meters that we can talk to. Um, we can talk to any Morehouse meter. Um, but if you have another meter that you need to talk to, we can talk about adding it or see if it, we already have it in there. How can your solution reduce fatigue-related errors? Yeah, so the automated system takes away any physical, real physical effort in controlling the machine. You don't have to pump anything up or anything. And then it also can automatically capture all of the data. 
Um, you know, you're not trying to count decimal places or anything like that. It just grabs all the data and makes it really user friendly. We want our technicians to focus on analyzing data instead of obtaining it. Can your solution free up their time? Yes, uh, the operator doesn't need to be involved in the actual calibration anymore. Uh, so they have time to do other things like uh, analyze data and generate certificates. If technicians are freed from data collection, what kind of productivity gains could we expect regarding overall throughput or turnaround time? Yeah, you can expect somewhere between 25 and 75 uh, percent more productivity. Can you explain how the software captures precise calibration points? Yes, yeah, so you can build a load sequence with as many load points as you want in it for it to get readings at, and it will grab as many readings from the indicator during that time as you would like, um, and average those numbers together and report them. Uh, so it can do that at each sequence, at each load point. Um, so you know, if you wanted to take a hundred load points or a thousand, you can do that, and at each of those points, take as many readings as as you'd like. Can you elaborate on the safety features integrated into this system and how they contribute to the overall operational safety? Uh, we built a lot of safety features into the unit. There are two manual e-stops, one on the front of the cabinet and one that can be mounted on the machine. So if anything goes wrong, you know, the operator can hit that. Um, there are also several automated safety features. Uh, so the reference standards meter can shut the system down if it goes over a certain millivolt per volt value and that's configured at every run so it'll set to shut down when it goes over capacity on the DUT as well. Um, there's a pressure sensor inside of the cabinet that's checking to make sure that the pressure that it sees in there matches what it expects from the load cell. So if you don't have a load cell connected or the wrong reference standard it will uh, stop running. How can you ensure that someone doesn't overload their load cell while using the machine? So yeah, that's a common problem we've heard from customers with other automated systems. So we designed a lot of features into this to prevent that. Um, so like I mentioned, there's a pressure sensor inside of here that's watching to make sure that the pressure that it's reading matches what it expects from the reference standard. So if you have a reference standard unplugged or the wrong reference standard in there, it will, you know, stop running, not overload the load cell. Uh, and then also, you know, if something were to happen with the program freezing up or anything, the meter can also shut down the system if it goes over the capacity of the DUT or the reference standard. Uh, and then also when the operator puts in the capacity for the DUT, before it, you know, keeps going and goes through a run, it will prompt the operator asking to confirm that the correct capacity has been entered. Yeah. Or if you know, the device under test or reference comes unplugged, it'll also stop then. How can your automation solution help optimize training while minimizing disruptions to ongoing calibration work? So the system is designed to be pretty easy to use. Yeah, we've taken a lot of customer feedback from the interface to, and incorporated that to, yeah, again, just make it more user friendly. Uh, for instance, if you're trying to, if you're doing a millivolt per volt cal and you have a meter with 400,000 counts and it's jumping around a lot, uh, the automated system is just going to get those readings and report those numbers and takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. How does your system ensure compliance with international standards such as ISO 376 and others? So you can configure the system to wait a certain amount of time before taking a reading. Uh, so that allows you to comply with ISO 376, which requires that you wait 30 seconds before taking a reading. Um, and then you can also, ISO also has a creep test requirement for certain cases. So you can you know, wait until you get back down to zero and take a reading at 30 seconds and then 300. How does your system ensure compliance with ISO 17025? 17025 has a requirement to keep all uncorrected data. Um, so it's my understanding that a lot of systems do not keep that uncorrect, raw uncorrected data, uh, but our system does. It stores it in the calibration file for the instrument. We often need to monitor several parameters during calibration. Can this seamlessly collect data from various indicators simultaneously? This system can connect to as many devices under test 
as you'd like and capture all the readings simultaneously. How is your software designed to handle record keeping and analysis? Yeah, so the software you know, captures all the data automatically and then you can use that to generate cert certificates for ASTM E74, ISO 376, or you know, various decision rules like ANSI Z540.3, Method 5 or 6, ILAC G8, and others. I understand you designed this system. What were some of the challenges you had? Yeah, it was a fairly long process. It took two or three years. Um, some of the things we definitely wanted to incorporate were a lot of customer feedback on overloading load cells with comparable systems and uh, the noise level with comparable systems. And then also wanting to be able to retrofit existing systems. Um, so coming up with a control system that would do all of that. Um, so, and then also control the load within a tight enough tolerance. This machine is precision crafted in the U.S. so you can trust the accuracy of your calibration. If you need assistance, we're here to support you every step of the way. Interested in learning more about the Automated Force Calibration System? Connect with us for detailed information and expert guidance. Reach out to us at sales at mhforce.com.